Hey folks, went into work this morning <clears throat> and uh, putting out the newspapers and I caught this one article that just, ex it, I saw it and it's like, excuse me, I pulled it aside. It's one of the paper I normally get anyways, you know, union leader. And I read this, and it was an editorial from uh, Joseph W. McQuaid, publisher of the Union Leader. He did a front page and front and back page editorial on this. This, oh, it pissed me off. And I will explain as we go along. I did a letter to the editor about this to the paper. I'm betting it will never see the light of day. But I will read it off to you. Ron Paul, truly dangerous. Ron Paul is a dangerous man. While his domestic libertarian views are quite attractive to some voters fed up with politics as usual, it is Paul's positions on issues of our national security that are truly dangerous. These views have been largely overlooked by a news media more interested in the presidential horse race than in the candidates' positions on issues. But we expect New Hampshire primary voters will examine the facts and act accordingly. A Wall Street Journal columnist notes that Paul is a leading spokesman for and recycler of long and familiar litany of change that point to the United States as a leading agent of evil and injustice, the militarist victimizer of millions who only want to live in peace. Perhaps this warped view is why Paul believes that Al-Qaeda terrorists caught in the United States ought to be treated as common criminals, not enemy combatants. Uh, if they're American citizens, it's in the Bill of Rights, which I put in my letter to the editor, which is coming. He wants to read them, wants them read Miranda rights to which they are not entitled, and he wants them to be tried and sentenced in civil courts rather than by military tribunals. This is nothing short of nuts. I can't even go on with this fucking article. It just continues and continues and, oh, we're lunatic fringe because we follow Ron Paul. Well, I did a letter to the editor. And the subject was in response to the publisher's editorial. Sir. It is quite evident that you, have not, that you have not read the Constitution, particularly the Bill of Rights. The NDAA of 2012 is the single most dangerous and destructive of any constitutional piece of legislation to ever pass through Congress, since it strikes at the very heart of our Constitution and especially at our Bill of Rights, stripping away not just the ancient right of habeas corpus, but also directly violating the right to jury trial guaranteed by both Article 3, Section 2 of the Constitution and by the Sixth Amendment, and also directly violating the Treason Clause of Article 3, Section 3, which defines the crime of treason, stating, Treason against the United States shall consist only in levying war against them or in adhering to their enemies, giving them aid and comfort. No person shall be convicted of treason unless on the testimony of two witnesses to the same overt act or on confession in open court. Ron Paul is not dangerous. The laws that are coming from Congress are dangerous to liberty and freedom. I am not lunatic fringe, as you so put it. I am a constitutionalist. I would recommend that Mr. McQuaid read the Constitution. Oh, this fucking pissed me off. I've, oh. 
Later, folks. Peace.